And also with us is Sol Solen Carvalho. She is the Innovation Director, Strategic Designer and Change Maker, helping governments, companies, and NGOs to design solutions and impact people's lives. She has led projects themed in women empowerment, education, health, social, and economic development. So thank you everyone for being here with me. Uh, thank you, Terry and Antonio. Uh, I am Solen Carvalho. I'm an innovation director at Telos Institute. Uh, next one, please, Claudia. Uh, at Telos, we work with government using the designing approach to uh, deliver innovation in public services and solutions for citizens in Brazil. We um, work not only with human-centered design, but also co-creating with all the actors from the ecosystem. And we truly believe that solutions and innovations, we don't make this from the offices. We have to go to the field to uh, be in touch with people that are going to use the solution, but also with people that are going to operate the solutions. And I think that is a key point when we are talking about government and uh, adopting solution, uh, innovative, innovative solutions in government. Uh, next one, please. Uh, at Telos, we work in, in many areas uh, like health, education, and social and economic development projects. So when uh, the whole pandemic situation start in the world, many partners that we are used to work with they hit us out and start to talking about how can we cooperate together to bring solutions to fight the COVID-19 situation. Next, please. <laughs> um, what we could uh, observe in the situation around the globe is that the adoption curve of uh, innovation were like anticipated in many cases, in many situations, in many different contexts. What happened in Brazil was not different. For example, we have the situation of the telemedicine that was like the technology already existed, the, um, but we the people like were not um, dealing with the situation. So in like, few weeks it was approved and people were using in the, the daily basis and i think it is one like good example like next one please uh, what we saw at the time were like four main points that made the whole context that helped us to understand how could we uh, use this moment the opportunity of this moment to increase innovation and fight COVID-19 in Brazil. So we had a situation that uh, in infrastructure and people that uh, it happened like an increase of demand of ICU beds, and but also of skilled people and infrastructure. So the hospitals, uh, the clinics were like uh, in a very high demand and they, they need like solutions to help them be more efficient and also to use better the people that they have to work with. Um, the new technology, so new uh, adoption of new technology were also leveraged. So I already told you about telemedicine, but also uh, distance uh, learning, digital learning that was like, really quickly adopted in Brazil. And we also start to have many uh, solutions offers uh, that could help at that moment. We, the, the, the third point is uh, procurement is um, a key pain point 
because the whole procurement system and the laws, the, the laws and the legal instrument that we have, they are very high in bureaucracy. So it's uh, very hard for the public agents to hire and buy solutions and innovations at the time that they need. With the, the COVID-19, we had um, flexib flexibilization on, on the legal situation, the whole uh, public procurement laws, they, uh, they have kind of a gap. So we could buy uh, uh, solutions and we could buy uh, uh, products without goals through uh, all the, the procurement process. Uh, we also have uh, at this moment, uh, uh, engagement of the political actors to really goes into innovation. So we had some situations, uh, like we had a new situation, a new problem, a new crisis, and the solution that we had at that time wasn't able to fight. So we had to create new solutions. We had to create new ways of work to fight that conditions. Uh, we also had a situation where we had many sourcing solutions. So companies, organizations, uh, public institutions were developing different solutions, but they couldn't find the uh, right framework to adopt the solutions, to implement the solutions inside government institute. So uh, we also uh, had an issue to how can we create a way to select the best solutions and implementing these solutions as, uh, as we had many different ones and many different actors, uh, people talking about this and trying to uh, really build the future from the, the, the problem that we had at that point. So that was the context uh, that we faced at that moment. And we start to think, how could we create this? At that point, uh, we were working with uh, the government of Sao Paulo. And Antonio, we, was, we also had an idea here. We have an idea Govi in Sao Paulo that's also a hub of innovation that we start on this situation and with a, a, a status work with these people in the government of Sao Paulo. So we start to, uh, and with the, this team, we set up uh, five public calls to face the challenges of uh, at that time. So these five tech, uh, public calls selected at the time, I think eight solutions. So it was very good at this point. Next one, please. Uh, so from that point, when we were like uh, thinking about how could we implement these situations, we faced some challenges. And I believe we, we still face, we are still facing some of them. Like in sales, we had the, the situation that startup, uh, especially not digital startups, but startups that work with hard tech solutions, they have uh, trouble to sell into the government because of the whole bureaucracy prog problem, but also the payment flow in the government that are not like a good for startups, but also because they have uh, problems in scale the solution. So when you sell into the government, you, you have to sell, sell in large scale. So that sometimes is a problem. Um, we also have a problem with the, uh, the test environment. Many of the solutions that we want to implement it, we have to reconcile the test environment with the production environment. And we were talking about health solutions in the COVID-19 situation. So the professionals, doctors, instrument, uh, all the, the infrastructure was uh, turned to the, the fight COVID. So it was difficult to create a test environment that was isolated from this uh, production environment and test it the solutions so they could be read to be really implemented and adopted. 
We also faced the public agent insecurity because uh, the public agent has uh, sometimes lack of legal support and lack of knowledge to implement uh, inno uh, innovative solutions. Uh, the legal framework is very complicated, and um, the how um, and how to decide which problem I will solve with innovations, which problem is a common problem, so I must go to the the procurement flow that already exists. So that was like a, a pain point for the public agents uh, too. Um, Another challenge that we face is the use of technology. As um, we know, Brazil is a very uh, Brazil faces a, a, a huge inequality. So we have different uh, level of um, economic and social situations when we're talking about the people about people in Brazil, and that was an issue. For example, like uh, we had at the beginning of the, the pandemic the government in brazil set up an app where people that were like uh having problems with money and they lost their jobs and they, they were in a very bad situation they could um uh apply for um, um a social like a social security aid like it was, it was a, a monthly salary that people could receive from government that helped them to go to, to be alive and to go through the whole situation. So what happens at that point that the government set up an app so people didn't uh, need to go to the banks to do this situation. But the most vulnerable people doesn't have access to smartphones, doesn't have, doesn't have access to internet data, and recently we did a research in Islam that we are we are working with. And in that specific specific Islam, 20% of the population doesn't have this, the social security number. So they don't have the, 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 the register that they need to apply this. So it was a good solution, was a good technology, but it doesn't reach out all the people that really need that solution. So this one is the point. I think it's like uh, the, the extremely uh, example that I can gave, give you, but it was one of the situations. Other situation, for example, is about how uh, the public agents are, um, are uh, like, may, may, may be or may or not may be technically, technically prepared to use the situations, the, the solutions. So one of the solutions that we helped to implement it was uh, one AI technology for um, that read uh, X-ray images and say that the gravity of uh, the, uh, the, the, the intensity of the COVID-19 infection. And we had to design this with the doctors because we had to understand the doctor's mind to understand how they could use that, that uh, instrument, that AI technology to help them to uh, that make the decisions that they had to make in the whole process of uh, the assistance of uh, people. So just, uh, so all these situations that involves the user and the, the whole uh, implementing process of uh, solutions is also an issue. We also have an issue about uh, the, the solution maturity and the risk investment. So it was hard to understand at the beginning of the, the, the development, uh, so the, the solution development, which solution has a potential to be implemented and scale in the government. But we also had uh, to be prepared when you are able to identify solutions that could be uh, really in, could really impact uh, the citizens that the government has to take the risk with the, 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 the developer. So when I, I think when an example uh, in the also in the COVID-19 was the vaccine development that the government also, the government 
invest with the companies, but also use um, the government techniques, the government institute, in, institutes of research, and the scientists that work with the university, public universities in Brazil, to develop and together with the, the companies all the, the solutions that we need. So our high risk and high investment solutions and the government must um, have, a, 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 have a, an investment and take risks with the, the, the companies. Next one, please. So uh, although we had all these challenges in the last year, we had many, um, uh, many changes that help us, especially what uh, is about what, when we talk about legal instruments. So we had many instruments, legal instruments, they were being discussing about and designing and in the public institution, but also in the whole advocacy and stakeholders uh, ecosystem uh, um, around the innovation in government. In the last year, we had uh, four main, uh, four very important uh, legal instruments that were approved and that really helped to, uh, the government to do agreements that they need with um, the, the companies and startups. We had the, the Hub Tech launch, that is a, a hub that helps uh, public agents to use one specific legal instrument that the uh, order, uh, technological order, that is a, a, a way to do agreement with the companies that where governments take risks with, with uh, the solution de developer. We also had the National Policy of Innovation that was uh, approved and is, it's about to be uh, implemented in Brazil. We also uh, have the new, had the new procurement law. So all the, the legal instruments that uh, helps uh, public agents to buy and, 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 and buy uh, innovative solutions, it was all designed to help to be faster and easy, or easier to do. And the last one, was the legal framework for startups that in Brazil did it was like a, a free translation because it's Marco Legal das Startups that is reg regulating the relationship between government and startups and what kind of agreements and what kind of uh, uh, contracts government can do with startups. Um, I think that's it. Thank you everyone for hearing me. If you want to know more about Telos, this is was it was our website. And that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.